Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tina Fears here and I'm coming to you guys with a makeup tutorial and this makeup tutorial is the makeup no makeup look and it's a very simple look but the reason why I'm doing it is because it is all the rage for the new fall uh, 2013 makeup trends. I noticed that a lot of people in fashion week and everything is doing just a fresh face um, makeup look and then they'll pair it with like a bold lip, a dark bold purple or red lip and this is um, you know how you get that look. So if you want to achieve the makeup but no makeup look then keep watching. Okay so the first thing that you will want to do is fill in your eyebrows but to be honest with you this makeup looks looks more natural or it looks better on people that already have like you know nicely groomed eyebrows like for instance this is my eyebrow this is no makeup or anything added to it it's my natural eyebrow so all I'm going to do right now is just fill it in a little bit and even still like I feel like if I had perfectly arched eyebrows it would be even better but um all I'm going to do is just fill in where it's like a little sparse. So right there in that spot is a little sparse. Right here in the front is a little sparse. So I'm going to go in an upward motion here just to try to fill that out a little bit. And then on the other side I'm going to do the same thing. So all the spots where I need just a little bit of filling out, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So now that I have my eyebrows on, everything else is pretty much um, just the face thing. So I'm going to take my moisturizer and I'm using the Vaseline, uh, Vaseline Repairing Moisturizer. And the reason why I use this moisturizer is because I feel that this dries to a matte finish. It doesn't feel really like glossy on me like once it dries it never looks shiny so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna rub the moisturizer all over my face okay so once you have the moisturizer rubbed on at this point the whole purpose of this look is to have flawless looking skin really that's like the basis of it so I'm going to take my foundation this is my true match foundation and you want a foundation that looks very very close to your skin tone like when I say close I mean like the closest close can get and that's this this matches my skin tone perfectly and the color that I use is cream cafe and it's a warm uh, it's a warm shade and it's by L'Oreal true match and I shake it up before I use it to make sure all of the you know colors and everything blends together and then it does not have a pump so I just put up put the makeup on the back of my hand Ooh. and this is more than enough and I take my foundation brush and this is MAC uh, 190 brush and I take this and I put some of the foundation on my brush and I always start in the middle of my face and sweep it across like that and the reason why I say you need to have a um, a shade that really matches your skin tone is because say for instance if you have a lot of acne scarring or something like that you're going to need to apply this pretty heavy so you're going to need a foundation where you can apply a lot of it without it looking like, you know, 500 different shades on you. Or it looks like it's just not your skin tone. And then from there, you're just going to apply the foundation all over your face. Um, if you have moles and stuff on your face like I do, try to go around them or avoid them as much as possible or just later on um, try to blend it out or rub your finger over it so it's not um, getting you know all over your moles because that's another thing that can make your face look um, 
fake or look like you have foundation on if you have moles and stuff that you are covering up that's not concealed well okay so once you have your foundation on I like to go over my foundation with a powder brush and blend it out and I'm using the elf powder brush the one that has the flat top like this and I'm going to take this and blend my makeup out because you want a very flawless kind of airbrush looking makeup now once you have your makeup all blended out you want to go in with a powder and the powder that I'm using is the um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. Okay, and I apply this with my e.l.f. Um, I think this is a blush brush, but the bottom looks like this. And it came in a package, like a little set sort of package. So I take this and I load my brush up with the product. And then I start from the outer part of my face and I blend this into my ears and into my neck so it can all be one unison color. And then from there, you are done with the face. Okay, so now you want to go to the eyes. So I'm going to zoom it in. And then the eyes is not really um, that special actually. You're just going to take some sort of like matte shade. Um, I'm using the 88 palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the matte palette. And I'm going to take some random brown color. I think I'm going to use this color right here. The one that's next to the green. And I'm going to take a blending brush, if I can find it. Okay, cool. I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm just going to rub this product into the brush. Tap off the excess. And then I'm going to rub this in the crease of my eye. Well, actually just all over your eye because you just want a wash of color all over your eye but you want a color that's kind of close to your skin tone so you see how that's not really that much a difference uh, happening here and the reason why you're doing this is because say for instance if you take pictures if you don't put something on your eyelid it's going to look like you have coverage everywhere else and your eyelid is very bare <laughs> so it's, it's going to look a little awkward so you need to put some sort of coloring on your eyelid and then for your highlight again you want to take not a crazy um highlight you just want something a little light and you just want to just lightly kind of that was too light <laughs> lightly rub it into your uh your uh, brow bone and just really work it in so it's not all that noticeable and again that color was just way too light I did not want to use that one I thought it was the darker one but still that worked out fine like you see how it's highlighted but it's not too dramatic where it looks like like how it did before like you notice when I first applied it let me try to put some more on so you can see the difference. So remember, see how it looks when you first apply it? You see how this, it, it's highlighted but not really that much. That's how you want this to look. So you just want to blend it out so you can have the highlight there but it not be um, that uh, dramatic. So you just want to blend it out um, there and then you want to put a little bit in the center of your lid and the reason why you're doing this is to give a little light um, color and dimension to your eyes you see how that kind of lightened it up a little bit but again it looks um, very natural so it gives your eyes different dimensions and then you're almost done the last thing that you need to do 
is apply mascara and liner and how you tight line is either you can look up and line like this if you're more comfortable doing it like this or some people that are not as advanced you can kind of lift it up and line your eye like this and what that does is make your eyelashes look a little uh, darker but it makes it look naturally darker as if you have naturally thick you know beautiful lashes and you want to do this only at the top because your bottom line you want to keep as natural as possible so then from there I'm going to take my mascara and I actually use two different ones. I'm going to use, oh my mascara look all crazy, but this is the Colossal uh, Mascara, but it's not the original one. This is the Cat Eyes one and I'm going to take this and when you apply your mascara, you want to apply it only to the lashes. You do not want to touch the waterline, just the lashes. And then you're going to apply it to the eyelashes at the top as well. So top and bottom. So that is the end of um, pretty much the makeup aspect. Um, last but not least, you can throw on, if you want to, you know, like a really, really natural, natural look. You just put on some chapstick. I'm using this uh, MAC lip conditioner. And this is actually like a little sample. I don't even have like a big thing. I'm trying to look. I don't have no sort of chapstick in here. It's only lipsticks. Jeez. Okay, but if you have some sort of chapstick or lipstick, you will put that on. Here's a little. Here we go. So I'm going to put um, my MAC lip conditioner on. And that is it. That's the whole makeup no makeup sort of look okay you guys so to kick this look up with an extra little twist um for the fall time what i would like to do is pair this look with a um dark purplish lip and i actually got my inspiration from mac um i believe the makeup the new makeup collection is called like you karen or something like that so um, what I'm going to take is my Vino lip, uh, lip Pencil from MAC and what I'm going to do is line my lips. And then blend it out. Okay. So now that you have on your lip liner, I'm going to take Diva from MAC. And Diva is like this pretty, like dark reddish brown burgundy sort of color. And I'm just going to apply this all over top of the Vino. Top and bottom. And that completes the look. That makes it a little more uh, fall like to me because you have like this deep lip and then you just have the fresh uh clean face i hope makeup. you guys enjoyed the look please rate subscribe and comment make sure you follow me on facebook instagram and twitter and i'll see you guys soon bye